I'm Joel with the Precision Rifle Network. Today, what I've got for you is a review of the CZ455 Precision Rifle Trainer. It is a 22 long rifle. I've got the SIG Tango 4. I believe this is the 6 to 24 by 50 on top of here. My plan today is to zero this at 50 yards, get us an initial group, and then we're going to stretch it out in 100 yard increments to see how far we can take the 22 long rifle out to distance. Right, guys, I did want to talk to you a little bit about the rifle itself. Um, so again, this is the CZ455 Precision Trainer. It is sitting in a Manners T4 composite stock. It has a 24 inch heavy barrel, threaded and suppressor ready. Um, you know, it's got a nice uh, oversized bolt knob on it, easy to grab. It does come with one five round magazine, but there are 10 round magazines available. Um, I got mine personally through Midway USA and um, you know the total weight of this rifle is just over eight pounds and uh, that is without the optic you know with the optic we're probably looking at more like 10 pounds uh, for the overall weight the weight is really good for uh, helping to, to keep the recoil at a minimum now obviously this is a 22 long rifle there's hardly any recoil at all but uh, it really does help you to, uh, you know, to spot your misses and your your impacts on steel down there. So I really do like the overall weight of the rifle, the way it's set up. I also purchased an aftermarket Timney Competition trigger uh, for this gun that is not installed yet. Uh, but as you saw in the uh, in the photos that I took, a little bit of video that I took, uh, I got a two pound trigger pull weight, which is fine, you know, on a gun like this. I'd like to have it a little lighter. So that's why I'm hoping with the uh, the Timney aftermarket trigger I'll be able to adjust that down a little bit closer to the pull weight of my competition rifle. Since I'll be using this for practicing, um, the question mark of course is what kind of what kind of targets can I hit at, at what distance? Alright guys, I like to shoot five shot groups. We're gonna go ahead and start this off at 50 yards with five shots for our zero. Now here's a five shot group at 100 yards. Uh, just for reference, those little uh, bolt heads down there on that steel target are about half an inch. And so this group ended up being um, right about a one inch group at 100 yards. I decided to do the 200 and 300 yard groups on paper so you could see it a little bit better. That black dot for reference is about one inch. And here's the 300 yard target. Uh, you can see the 200 yard group there on the paper. For reference, I believe that plate at the, uh, the circular plate on the top left of your screen is about eight inches. I was actually pretty impressed with the approximate uh, eight inch group at 300 yards. Um, and I was able to get, um, you know, eight out, of hit, eight out of 10, nine out of 10 hits. Um, every time that I tried at 300 yards with this rifle. Um, the target at 400 yards is a 1 MOA target. Um, I'm sorry, a 2 MOA target, so it would be an 8 inch target uh, at 400 yards. And I was not able to connect with any shots at that distance. And I fired probably 20 rounds at it trying to hit it. So um, that is the limit of the effective range of this rifle, in my opinion, is uh, 300 yards. Now let's get into a little bit of discussion about the ballistics of the 22 versus, say, a 308 or a 6.5 Creedmoor. And I know that sounds ridiculous uh, on its face, but let me explain. Uh, the 308 at uh, at a thousand yards. Let me just pull it up on my my ballistics app here. The 308, uh, standard 308, and this is out of a um, a 20 inch barreled. Uh, Seekins Precision Gas Gun that I personally own, and so I'm just looking at the ballistics chart here. Uh, 308, uh, for my particular load, it's 168 grain match grade ammo, has a, a drop of 12.1 mils 
out of a thousand yards. And for a five mile an hour full value, left to right wind from say 90 degrees, we're looking at a 1.6 uh, on the wind drift in far, as far as mills. Now let me switch it over here to the 22. All right, so now I have found that the effective range of a 22 long rifle, just based on my personal testing, is about 300 yards. You can get hits further than that, but uh, for the most part, you just it, there's no consistency to it. I can sure I can lob 40 rounds down there and maybe get five hits in and, and call that good, but I'm not that kind of a, of a shooter. I want to know, you know, what can I get eight out of ten or nine out of ten times? Uh, and so, for my personal testing, I found that that's about 300 yards. So, if I look at the drop data on here for the 22 that I'm shooting. Uh, and go out to 300 yards, we've got a 12.6 of elevation mills, and for a five mile an hour full value at 300 yards again, we've got a 1.5 mils of left wind. So it's easy to see that as far as ballistically, the drop and the effects of the wind between the 22 long rifle at 300 yards is pretty close to shooting a 308 at 1,000 yards. So we can say, you know, the 22 is a good trainer for shooting long range because we see a lot of the same variables come into play shooting a 22 long rifle at a shorter distance as we do shooting the higher calibers at a larger distance. The CZ455 Precision Trainer, in my opinion, is an absolutely stellar option. If you're looking to get into precision long rifle and you want something to train with uh, on the cheap, this is an excellent way to go. By the way, I didn't mention it, the MSRP on these is right around $950.